In 557 AD, Shahan Shah Khosro I of the Sasanian Empire, who had greatly increased the authority of his empire through his reforms, decided to put an end to the Heptalite Empire domination over Central Asia. He thus allied with the rising Gokhtar Khaganate in order to defeat them. The campaign was successful and the region north of the Oxus River went to the Turks whilst the south came under Sasanian authority. An agreement was established between Khosro I and the Turkic Khagan Ishtami which set the Oxus as the frontier between the two empires. However, due to disputes regarding the Silk Road trade and the rejection by the Shah to allow the Turks free access to Iranian markets, in 588 the Turkic Khagan Bagak Khagan, otherwise known as Sabe or Saba in Persian sources, together with its Heptalite subjects, invaded the Sasanian territory south of the Oxus, where they attacked and routed the Sasanian soldiers stationed in Balkh, and then proceeded to conquer the city along with Talakan, Bagis, and Herat. A war council was held by the successor to Khosro, Hormizd IV, and it was decided that a noble general from the Parthian clan of Mihran named Bahrom Chobin would be chosen to lead an army against them, and would also be given the governorship of Khorasan. Bahrom Chobin originally started his career as Marzbon of Rey, but in 572 he commanded a cavalry force and took part in the siege and capture of the key Roman stronghold of Dara, and was promoted to Spabod of the northern provinces of Adurbagan and Greater Media. After his promotion, he fought a long and indecisive campaign in 572 to 591 against the Romans in northern Mesopotamia. Bahrom's army supposedly consisted of 12,000 hand-picked horsemen from the elite Asfaran cavalry. His army ambushed a large army of Turks and Heptalites in April of 588 at the Battle of Hykernian Rock, and again in 589 reconquering Balkh, where Bahrom captured the Turkic treasury and the golden throne of the Khagan. He then proceeded to cross the Oxus River, where he met the host led by Baga Khagan himself. One report has the Turks' numbers between 300 to 400,000, which is certainly apocryphal. That said, it is safe to assume that the Persians were outnumbered by at least 2 to 1. This enemy is a sly one. They shall try to displace us, but I am confident we shall hold this ground and win this battle. To your positions! Bahrom won a decisive victory over the Turks, and legend has it that he killed Baga Khagan personally with an arrow shot to the head. He managed to reach as far as Bacon, near Bukhara, and also repulsed an attack by the son of the deceased Khagan, Bermuda, whom Bahrom had captured and sent to the Sasanian capital of Tesaphon. Bermuda was well received there, and was 40 days later sent back to Bahrom with the order that the Turkic prince should get sent back to Transoxiana. The Sasanians now held suzerainty over the Sogdian cities of Chak and Samarkand, where Ormidz had coins minted in his own name. 
After this decisive campaign, Bahrom was recalled west to the Caucasus to repel an invasion of nomads, possibly the Khazars, where he was again victorious. He was later made the commander of the Sasanian forces against the Romans once again, and successfully defeated a Roman force in Georgia. However, he afterwards suffered a minor defeat by a Roman army on the banks of the Aras River. Hormizd, who was by this point jealous of Bahrom, used this defeat as an excuse to dismiss him from his office, and had him humiliated by sending him a chain and a spindle to show that he considered him as a lowly slave, as ungrateful as a woman. However, Bahrom would not accept this humiliation and marched his army on Tessaphon, sparking the Sasanian civil war of 589, which I will cover soon in another video.